Welcome to your weekly UAS news update, the place where you get your news not two weeks late. And this is the week of December 13, 2021. Uh, we got four stories this week, really three and a half, I guess. Uh, the first one is DJI. Uh, there's two things. is There is a bunch of new drones coming up from DJI in 2022 that have been leaked. And then the second one is uh, DJI was put on another blacklist, and so we'll talk about that. Uh, the second story is a drone delivery company called Flytrex that is expanding their operation. We'll talk about that. And then lastly, we'll talk about a drones for good story. So let's get to it. The first story this week, and then also the second story, is going to be about DJI. And the first one is kind of a positive thing. It looks like we may be getting some new DJI drones in 2022. Uh, if you thought that they were done making drones, well, you were wrong. Um, we're possibly looking at three different drones. And the first one would be a Mini 3, which uh, apparently would uh, happen in April. The second one would be an FPV Mini that would be coming out in July. Uh, I'm not sure what that looks like or what the purpose of that would be, but a lot of people have been asking about a slightly not as heavy drone as the uh, DJI FPV, uh, which uh, I think was a good first attempt by DJI, but people might be looking for something where they can fly indoors maybe or having uh, ducted uh, propellers. So uh, we'll see what that comes out. I'm sure we'll get more information around July. And the last one is kind of a big one, uh, which is uh, September for an Inspire 3. Um, I had uh, been of the opinion that the Inspire line of uh, drones was actually dead and I don't, I didn't think DJI was going to be upgrading that anytime soon, but it looks like I was wrong. And I like being wrong, especially for this. Uh, so the Inspire 3 might be coming in September. Again, we'll get more information about this. If you want more information, head over to our friends at Drone Excel with Haya. Uh, he's got a ton of good information uh, on this topic and we'll put a link down in the description. The second story is also related to DJI this week, and in this case, it would be DJI that is looking to be added to a blacklist. Uh, in this case, it would be the Investment and Export Blacklist. The U.S. Department of Commerce said that they would put DJI on the list later down this week along with 24 other companies. And that entity list is going to restrict American exports and investment into 24 of these companies, including DJI. Now, this is a, um, well, this is added to a very long list of things that happened to DJI this year. It uh, looks like uh, by the end of the year, there should be something else added to the list. Uh, this is um, something that we've talked about for quite a while, if you've been following us. In addition, the uh, US the Treasury Department said that they would put DJI and other Others on what's called a Chinese military industrial complex company blacklist. Uh, I'm not sure of all the details on that one, but again, we'll put the article down in here from Drone Excel so you can find more information about this. The third story this week is Flytrex. This is a drone delivery company that is operating in North Carolina at the moment, and it looks like they got approval to expand their operation by uh, one nautical mile, which may not sound like a lot, but they said that this is going to allow them to reach an additional 10,000 household in uh, North Carolina. Uh, they're currently partnering with food services and retail establishments to provide UAS drone deliveries. Um, this is interesting. We talk, I know we talk about drone delivery every once in a while in this uh, in this uh, show. Um, I don't want to make it every single week because there's always something going on with drone delivery. Uh, I think it's interesting. Uh, I, I like seeing your comments down about what you think about drone delivery. As you know, in the Pixel Drone Show, we talked to a couple uh, people that do drone delivery for a living. Uh, tell me what you think. If you think this is something that we're going to keep seeing uh, developing or if it's just uh, going to be kind of stuck with being a one-mile delivery kind of thing. And also, if you've used drone deliveries before, if you've received goods via drone, please tell us in the comments kind of uh, what you went through. And the next story this week is the Kentucky tornadoes. I'm sure you've seen this in the news. Kentucky get hit uh, uh, in several areas by tornadoes. And uh, drones have actually been a big part of the recovery. And uh, if you live in this area, please don't use your drone at the moment to fly. Uh, there's still a lot of uh, temporary flight restrictions in place. But a lot of folks that we know in the industry have been working on these operations. Uh, this includes uh, people from Storm Point, uh, Skybras, our friend Bobby has been... Uh, having customers helping with this using their technology and then a lot of first responders. So uh, you can see more pictures down in the article that we're posting in here. Uh, this, is, uh, this is obviously very dramatic and, and something that uh, we hope if any of our students are affected, uh, please reach out, tell us how we can help and, uh, and hopefully we can do uh, something to help you guys. All right, this is all I have for you this week. As always, like, subscribe, leave your comments and we'll see you guys next week.